So what's maybe some top tips um, that you could share with that audience um, yeah. for what you've learned as an entrepreneur and you've brought back from your, your ongoing adventure in yeah. the entrepreneur's life? What are some of the top tips that you'd like to share as a, as some t as a takeaway for our viewers and uh, listeners? Um, synthesize, you know, 15 years of entrepreneurial learning into tips. <laughs> uh, got it. So, um, he, he, you know, it actually, it does come full circle to what we talked about at the beginning, failure. Um, I, I really want to reiterate that, that, you know, failure or hardships are the seedling for joy. You just need to get enough distance and perspective to understand yep. what is the learning from them. And uh, it doesn't mean rush the grieving process or all that, but um, the sun always rises, right? Mm -hmm. And um, when, if you're in it, if you're in it, whether it be personal uh, or professional or the business is about to fail or just failed, or you're a fear of it failing, um, there is an answer and it may not be the one you like <laughs> right now. And it may not be the one you necessarily choose, but it's all happening for you in the way that, that it needs to. Mm -hmm. um, and with time, you'll understand that. Um, and, and I think the, with that is the, the most important lesson I think I've ever learned as an entrepreneur is listen to the market, mm -hmm. almost like listening to in your own intuition. Right. And yep. oftentimes people have a hard time distinguishing what is fear and what is intuition. What am I afraid of? And what am I, like, I'm scared of doing that. Is my intuition is my fear. Intuition in our bodies is this soft feeling of knowing it's very mm -hmm. quiet very subdued, but it's persistent. It's a gut feeling. Um, oftentimes fear is this, you know, and all we think is our intuition or excitement is our intuition. The intuition is a little more subtle than that. Mm. And the market is similar. Mm. Is not always going to be a smack you across your face. Sometimes it is, <laughs> right? Mm. But it's a little more subtle. And it's our job to tune into that and say, what is this trying to tell me? Mm. And how can I not be emotionally attached to, doesn't mean I don't care. doesn't mean I'm not passionate. But if I remove emotion and I analyze the situation as if I was a consultant brought into this with no, you know, no, no skin in the game other than tell me what, what this is, tap into that intuition of what is the market telling us? Is there a there there? Is there not? Right. And then, you know, and then follow it and don't be afraid to make changes like you did in your own, you know, your own startup to make the pivots to find it, you know, product market fit um, doesn't matter if you're a service business or e-commerce or subscription product market fit is undeniable. Mm. It's undeniable. If it is kind of working, it is kind of product market fit. It's not product market fit. So, so I think that it's listen to the market, right? Don't be, uh, don't be all consumed by the fear or if the failures got you down. Um, it's if you're knocked down nine times, it's that tenth time um, that matters, and that's really what entrepreneurship is. It's not the glamour. It's not the sexy things. Um, the entrepreneurship's in the trenches problem solving, saying there's got to be a better way, even if it's your own business uh, that you're in the middle of now. Yeah, that's fantastic. And really what you're saying is um, you've got to play the long game. Yeah, it's uh... you, have to, you have to play the long game. And, and on that note, the, actually, the one thing that the, the like personal thing I want to leave people in is reconnecting to what makes them smile from the inside out. Forget all the other bullshit for a second. Mm -hmm. Your inner joy, reconnecting to that, mm -hmm. make an annual list of the things that bring you joy, whether it be riding a mountain bike or going skiing or the smile of your dog in the morning or your, ch whatever it is, the little things that make you smile from the inside out and do one thing, one thing every day from your list. And that mm -hmm. compounding daily investment in joy over time, I call it the ROJ, the return on joy is just like subscription, <laughs> right? It is compounding. It's exponential uh, over time. And so that those daily investments into joy is probably the most important.